What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Brandon Coin YouTube channel. I hope everybody's having a great day. Today, we're going to talk about mining Ferris Coin on a Windows computer. So it doesn't matter if it's a laptop, a desktop, or even some type of little, you know, all-in-one handheld. If it's running a full desktop version of Windows, then you can definitely mine Ferris Coin on it. Uh, just for reference, this video is being recorded on June 12th, 2025, and I do want a word of caution because some people are like, hey, I thought you could only mine Varus coin on cell phones. That's not true. You can actually mine Varus coin on multiple different processors and, and setups, but it is more efficient to mine on cell phones. Doesn't mean you can't still get some good hash rate out of certain CPUs. It leans more heavily towards AMD CPUs, but you can still mine on Intel as well. Veriscoin likes lots of cores and also cache. So uh, your AMDs with a lot of cache are going to do really well. Um, before we get started, I did want to show you our Veriscoin uh, community pool over on the Jellyfish team. They've been putting in a lot of work and there's some big heavy hitters coming online and they're actually starting to hit a good amount of blocks. So what that means is this website right here, varus.jellyfc.com. This is the Varus coin um, community pool. And this is all just community members. If you're wanting to join the community and also, or join the community pool, it's really simple to get up and going. I'll show you that here in a second. There's also a, a link down below in the description. You can join the, the Discord that will take you over into the Jellyfish community as well. But we're looking at over three giga hash right now. And um, hash rate has been fluctuating because we've had new people coming online. So our uh, current effort and then average effort is a little out of whack. But once we get some, some more steady hash rate on there and give it some time, it should average out. Uh, now, we just did a, a big update on it and it reset a lot of our, our settings or our, our uh, previous information. So it's only showing three confirmed blocks. That's since our last update. Um, let's see here. So our pool time to find block, we should be averaging a block every six hours, about a little bit less than seven hours. So that means we should be getting blocks and people should be getting payouts regularly when we first started the pool we didn't have a lot of hash rate on there so we were going days without finding blocks that should be a non-issue now and if you join us we'll be able to get more hash power and find blocks even more regularly so everybody gets paid out more frequently so it's like a win 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 all right now let me get the application open and show you how to get various coin up and running on any windows computer all right, guys, so I'm going to provide you with this link. This is a download for the Varus Windows Miner uh, from my Google Drive. Uh, it is going to flag it for a virus because pretty much Windows Defender sees any mining uh, application as a virus anymore. Um, but you're going to go ahead and download this zip file. And I did change the uh, permissions to have it open because previously, I, I don't know why, but I had set it as private so then nobody could download it. That was my bad. So we are downloading that right now, that zip file. Let's click open on that. And then it's right there. Next thing we're going to want to do is drag this over. Let's make a new folder on the desktop and let's call it Varus, just so we can work inside this folder. Um, you're going to want to drag that zip file into Varus folder. Let's close that out. Drag this back over here. Now right click extract files or unzip files. If you're not using WinRAR, you can use the regular Windows uh, unzip utility. That's fine. So we're going to unzip those. Now they're a regular folder. You can double click on that. And then you see Varus Windows Miner. Double click on that. More info and run anyway. Please enter your Varus wallet address, and I have my Varus wallet address um, right. I got it somewhere in here. I think it's, yeah, I got it right here. So you're going to need to uh, grab your wallet address from any wallet that you're using with Varus coin. I believe I have my Varus coin 
I don't know. It's going to to one of the wallets. Let me pause this and show you some available wallets for Veris coin real quick. All right, so I am using the actual full Veris wallet. You can find that on veris.io slash wallet. You can download it for Windows um, or there are some other ones. I believe MetaMask supports Veris. I'm not 100% sure. I might end up doing a dedicated wallet video for Veris showing all the wallets that are available, how to get them set up. But um, regardless, once you get your wallet address, you'll need to let me minimize that. Drag this back over here and right there. You're going to put your wallet address in. And after your wallet address, put a period and then put your device, uh, like your worker name. Um, so peer, dot bcoin 5700gg. Um, let's see. Yeah, so it'd be. Oh, actually, don't put your worker name in the wallet address. There's another separate field for worker name. The old way, it's been updated since then. That's my bad. So just put your wallet address in. Then for worker name, you put your 5700 GG because it's a 5700 G. So that way I know this system when it's connected and I go look at the stats over on the website, I can see the 5700 G is doing this amount of mining. Once, if you only have one system, it's not as necessary. But once you get multiple, you want to know which what's doing what on each one. Now, the cool part about this is you can choose CPU cores to use out of 16 total. So this processor has 16 threads. This will not let you use all the threads because then that could lock up the entire computer. Um, so if you want to use your computer while you're mining, I recommend about half of your total available threads. So if you had 16, you could set it to about eight and then you could still use your computer. You might not be able to do like full fledged gaming, depending on what CPU you have, but you still should be able to like surf the web, um, do little stuff here and there. Now, if you just want to do straight mining and get all the performance, leave it cranked all the way up. Then the next thing you're going to want to do is create desktop shortcut. You just double click that and then it's going to create this shortcut right here. So start Varus Miner. That's what it's going to look like. And if you ever want to see your stats, just click Open Wallet Stats website. And that will open this right here, which shows your stats for your wallet address. You can bookmark this. It's over on the varus.jellyfc.com website. And it shows hash rate. You can click on workers. It'll show your different workers that are connected, your blocks, earnings, payouts, settings all that kind of stuff so um it's that's that's pretty much it then you're up and running um after you just click on or double click on start various miner it'll open like this it'll go through you shouldn't see any red it'll connect to the pool and um yeah i'm gonna let this run for just a second i don't want it to start lagging out my computer while i'm recording but just to give you guys an idea of, of what it looks like and it'll show each individual core and what each individual core is doing. So yeah, so each core is doing about 1.3 to 1.35 mega hash for a total right now of 20.2 mega hash. Uh, this 5700G will do about 22 to 23 mega hash whenever I'm not doing anything else on it. But while I'm recording right now, I'm actually surprised it's even doing 20 mega hash. So let me close this out so we don't end up locking up the computer. Uh, while I'm recording, because that would be bad. But yeah, guys, I really do appreciate y'all taking a look at this. Um, Varus Coin, let's see here. Um, Varus Coin, we'll pull it up on Coin Market Cap. Uh, it's it's a coin that's done pretty decent for a long time. Uh, it had it looks like its all time high was around a little over six dollars. Um, we're floating around two dollars and fifty cents right now. And before that, you know, it's, it's been as low as 10, 15, 12 cents uh, back in, in 2020. And then through 2023, most of 2023, it was around 30 to 40 cents. So I think Varus Coin is going to be here for a long time. It's got um, a good amount of people on the network. It's got a pretty strong network. Uh, and then, yeah, fully diluted market cap, uh, over 200 million. So. I'm, I'm here to stay on Varus coin. I'm always going to be throwing a little bit of hash power at it, especially in the winter time where I can use a little bit of extra heat 
but even in the summertime, just running it on one or two systems is not going to be burning a ton of power. Um, for example, the 5700G, uh, I think this this chip, let's see here, 50, uh, 5700G TDP, this is a 65 watt chip, so running it even at full bore, adding an extra 70 watts of, uh, of usage is, is not much, not noticeable. For example, we'll go ahead and we'll calculate it out right now. We'll say worst case scenario, we incur an extra 70 watts, which technically if you're running your computer, you're already using some of that power anyway, um, but just for the CPU package here. 70 watts times 24 hours, if we used it 24 hours a day, divided by 1,000, that gives us 1.68 kilowatts per day times 30 days, and then times point. My power just went back up for the summertime, so I'm back at 13 cents a kilowatt hour. So that means in a month, I'm going to burn an extra $6.55 if I mine with this computer every single day, 24 hours a day. But I don't mine with this computer every single day, 24 hours a day only let it run when I'm not using it. So more likely it's being used or mining for about probably 12 to 16 hours a day because I do spend a lot of time on here, um, either watching videos, watching movies, creating content or playing video games. That's kind of my all in one entertainment hub. If you use your computer like that, I, I definitely, uh, that's how I use mine. So anyway, guys, I wanted to thank you all for coming out. I really do appreciate it. Um, I'm sorry if there's an echo coming through on this video. I just moved into my new uh, office space um, and there's like nothing in here other than my computer. So it, it feels a little echoey to me, but we're going to definitely get some sound deadening uh, like pads or, or tiles or something. So anyways, uh, if you are on the Varus jellyfish pool, please comment down below. Or if you have any problems or need any help getting on the pool, go to the my links down below and then there's a discord button on there and you can join our discord and ask for any help. There's tons of guys in there. There's a dedicated section for the Varus coin pool along with, we do have other pools in there as well. So anyway, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Adios. Goodbye.